Do you guys want to see a magic trick? All right, here we go. Yeah, I've been working on that one a little bit in my free time, guys. Welcome to Ask MNR Productions, episode 29, the series where you can ask me basically anything you want in the comments section below, and I'll go through and pick questions and answer them for you in the video. So if you guys have a question for me for next week's episode, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. If you guys do enjoy this week's episode, of course, go ahead and like the video. And if you're new to the channel, of course, hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you did happen to catch my unboxing video of a set that LEGO sent me, you would know that I ended up getting two LEGO Technic Mac Anthem trucks. So I said in that video that I would give one of them away and that's what I'm going to do right now. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to pick the winner for that set and then we're going to get into the questions. All right, for those of you who didn't see it, obviously this is the Lego sent me a box video. Lego sent me two Lego Technic Mac Anthem trucks, one of which I am going to start working on building here later today probably, but uh, one of them is to give away to one of you guys, and the way I said in the video, I didn't even put it in the title, so I'm, I'm very happy with how many of you guys commented to try and win this thing. I mean, a lot of people watch this video and realize that you could win one. I didn't even say you could win one until like halfway through the video, so very awesome you guys. Anyway, uh, we had 2,790 comments. All we have to do here is copy this link command C paste the link into the random comment picker and then we're gonna pick a random comment the rule of the uh, contest was that you had to live in the USA because it's gonna cost way too much to ship outside of the USA so basically if you live in the US you were able to win this if you commented on the video so hopefully the winner does live in the US we're gonna let this count up and then we're gonna let it pick our winner all right so amount of unique commenters 2394 that means even if you commented twice you don't have a better chance of winning I know some people uh, might try to do that so this kind and it takes that away so without further ado let's go ahead and pick start it's gonna pick a random winner and our winner is here we go here we go here we go it is Aiden with a smiley face. He says, dang, that Mac be looking like a snack. <laughs> that is quite a comment. All right, well, you are going to be snacking it up with your own Mac truck. So go ahead, send me an email, dude. I'm going to try to find your comment so I can send you a message. But obviously, it's not that easy to find the individual comment. But if you can send me an email, I'm going to make sure you are who you are. And then I'll get you your prize sent out, assuming you live in the U.S. All right, and now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into our first question of the day. It comes from Max Barrett, and he says, what are your thoughts on the idea of marbled lego pieces so this is basically where you'd have like multiple different colors or maybe like mixed in with white and it would make like a marbled effect with lego pieces i think would be amazing however lego kind of stops this from happening i know that they've come off the assembly line like that sometimes it's like an error that happens but they go ahead and throw them away unfortunately there are some that have leaked out and you can find them occasionally usually they're like older but they do look really cool you see some pictures obviously and i wish they would make some just for some sets like i think it could be a really cool concept to have different colored and mix match pieces like that but it probably won't happen Purple Noodle Scoots says, what is your favorite clone battalion? Which I don't really have a favorite one, but I do want to answer a second question here. He says, what is your favorite clone army customs figure? That is undoubtedly going to go to the Galactic Marine. I believe the clone army customs Galactic Marine is incredible. I got this at Brickworld Chicago last year, and I absolutely love it. It's a great minifigure. I would definitely recommend checking out my review of it. I'll try to leave a link down in the description or the comment below. And uh, yeah, really cool figure. I would definitely recommend clone army customs uh, if you're looking for some very, very unique clone troopers. So very cool. They have a great Galactic Marine. That's my favorite CAC figure. DV Productions says he has two questions. Have you ever played Republic Commandos video game? No, I have not. I actually have never played it at all. He says, also, what do you think of a clone commando battle pack? I think it's a little bit unfeasible. I think that it would be a little bit overpriced. I, I think if they made like a $25 clone commando set, maybe that could work. That would be really awesome. I know that both clone army customs and minifigs for you make custom clone commandos and you can probably find other people that make custom ones too, but they look really cool and it would be great if Lego did make them. Unfortunately, they don't so I think it would be a neat concept for a set I have no idea what kind of ship they can include with it maybe even like they made it a 50 or 60 dollar set I don't even care I think it would just be really cool to get those four clone commandos Quinlan Productions says, do you think we are still getting the V-19 Torrent in the summer? So we don't quite have any further news besides the piece count of those sets. And the supposed V-19 Torrent 75219 is supposed to include 829 pieces. So that would kind of make sense with it being a V-19 Torrent. Its codename is Gorgon, so we don't really know what it is yet. But uh, some people think it's from Han Solo. Some people think it's a V-19 Torrent. I'm kind of in the V-19 Torrent as a Tours Us exclusive boat, but only time will tell. I'm still praying for it. We don't have 
have any further news yet. We don't have any confirmation, but as soon as we do know, of course, I'll make a video about it. Hunting Deer 456 says, what do you think the most ridiculous price set is? I think I've answered this one before and I'm sure Munchell 360 is dying right now as I answer this question, but it's definitely the Grievous Speeder Bike. This thing is stupidly priced, $30 for this little 157, 158 piece set. It doesn't offer much in terms of features. It's grossly oversized to kind of make it worth the price, but I just feel like it doesn't deliver in a lot of areas as far as playability. It doesn't really have anything besides spring-loaded shooters, and it's a pretty lame set overall for $30. Maxon Bois says, how's it going with the Hothmock? So, you can see the Hothmock behind me. I haven't worked on it in about a month, and I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. I'm thinking of canceling the series. Like, I just do not have the drive to build a mock. Like, I've never really been a mock builder, and I thought starting a mock building series would give me the drive to keep it going, but... Once I ran out of pieces that I already had, I just don't really have the, like, the will or the, the, you know, I don't have the drive to keep going with it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's probably just going to sit there for another month and eventually I'll dismantle it. But as much as I don't want to cancel the series, it just seems like it's going that way. I honestly just feel like I'm having a lot more fun making other videos and it takes up a huge amount of space in my room. I just, I don't know. It, we'll see what happens, but chances are it'll get canceled. Dan Stuff says, MNR Productions, do you have any tips on getting old LEGO Star Wars sets? So pretty much the only ways you can obtain old LEGO Star Wars sets are eBay and Bricklink. Those are the easiest ways to get them. So basically if you know how to use those websites, websites, go on eBay and Bricklink and try to find a good price for them if you're trying to get certain older sets. Um, if you're trying to get them, maybe you can get them on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. That's a little bit harder to do. You're working, you know, face to face with some people. It's a little bit, nah, I don't really do that. So use Bricklink and eBay. It's the safest way to do it. PayPal has buyer protection so you don't get ripped off. Although most of the, you probably won't get ripped off. Okay. Mo like 99.9% .9 of transactions are legit. So unless it's too good to be true, it's probably okay. So don't worry about it. Just go on eBay or Bricklink, look for good prices, you know, maybe wait a month or two until a price comes up that's better than what's available now because sometimes they're a little bit expensive at certain times because there aren't as many on the market, I guess. What's Kraken says, have you ever owned or heard of the Lego brick-like building system Creo? If so, what did you think of it? I actually bought a Creo set I believe this was 2010, and I used it on my channel, MNR Productions. Uh, no, it has to be 2011. It had to be 2011, like early 2011. I bought a Creo Transformer set, and uh, it's been a very long time, obviously. It's been about seven years, but uh, I, I think I kind of liked it. I also picked up this Creo set because, according to a lot of people, it's quite nice, the Creo. And I really don't see how it's good. I really do not like it at all. This was only $8, so it's not a big loss to me. Brick Trooper Studios says, what should replace buildable figures or some sets would fit into that price range? I think just getting rid of buildable figures is fine. Like, I don't think they need to replace it with anything per se. Like, before buildable figures, there was nothing like before buildable figures that buildable figures replaced. So like, why would anything replace buildable figures? I think buildable figures are just its own thing, an extension of Lego Star Wars, if you will. Um, I didn't particularly like it, as I have told you guys many, many times, and uh, I'm very happy that it's going away. I don't think anything will replace it. I can't fathom anything that would replace it like just more lego sets i guess but they're making enough lego sets so i think they don't need to like overproduce more stuff so i think it's just going to go away and we're not really going to see anything replace it unless they have some really cool idea coming down the pipe who knows that would be really dope but uh as far as i'm concerned we're probably not going to get anything to replace it at least for the next few years Jenna says, could you buy a Lepin set and then destroy it? Well, I'm actually way ahead of you guys. I'll give you a little preview right now. I'm working on some real versus fake Lego versus Lepin type videos. So you definitely want to stay tuned to the channel to check those out. The first one should be dropping this Friday, I believe. Maybe Thursday. I can't remember what day I have it scheduled for. But uh, it'll be the Stormtrooper Battle Pack. And I do destroy the Lepin set or the fake set at the end of every real versus fake video that I'm going to be doing. So make sure you guys check those out if you're into that sort of thing. Pop Cannon says, now Star Wars Rebels is finished, what do you think the next animated Star Wars show will be? I thought I heard that the next show is supposed to be live action, but regardless, I hope it takes place between 6 and 7. I think that's a time period that obviously hasn't really been touched yet, because we had Rebels between 3 and 4 and Rogue One, and we've had the Clone Wars between 2 and 3, so the only like feasible thing to me is between 6 and 7. That would work really, really well, span that, or, you know, fill that gap of like 20 years, you know? I think they could get a lot of things in there, so that would be really cool. That's kind of what I want the next show to be. Here's the kind of one off question for you guys extreme banter boy says would i rather play in the nfl or the nba i think i would go with the nba right now i'm having a lot of fun playing basketball like that's just it's my thing i love watching both sports equally like i love both teams that i like equally the patriots and the celtics but if i had to pick one to play in it would be the nba also you make like way more money i guess but i didn't really factor that into my my thing until just now but definitely nba it's a lot more fun looking 
CC Kill Billy says, how much did you have to pay a scalper for that Black Ops 3 Juggernaug edition? That's my mini fridge right there. That's what that is. If you guys don't know, it's from Call of Duty Zombies. It's Juggernaug. It's like the thing that gives you more health. And I did not pay a scalper for that. I was actually able to get it for the regular retail price when the game came out in 2015. I got it on Amazon. Like I pre-ordered it and it came the day it released. So yeah, I didn't pay a scalper. Don't worry. I try not to, I try not to buy anything from scalpers if I can uh, steer clear of that. I try to get everything like as soon as it releases, like a pre-order or whatever it has to be but uh, I try not to pay scalpers uh, same goes for Lego guys if you're trying to get a Lego set don't buy it don't buy it from a scalper especially if it's brand new just wait a little while it will become more available um, except I mean I guess the Juggernaug edition is a perfect example of something that didn't become more available because they only produced like the, the initial wave I guess and then that was it but most Lego sets as far as Lego goes because you know I want to tie this back into Lego you you're going to be better off if you just wait and wait for it to become more available you can see this especially with the UCS Money of Falcon that came out back in October originally prices were exorbitant i got mine for 800 people were playing like 1500 on ebay why would you pay that much if you could just wait a few months and get one in the store for half the price so always wait just patience is key just keep building says that lego is ending nexo nights this summer which i believe is true and he wants to know what line i want to take over nexo nights i think it would be really cool if they brought back like a castle knights type theme kind of a medieval theme they had one back in like 2008 2009 2010 ish and uh, i think it's about time for them to bring a new one back i think it it could be popular with the kids maybe it won't be maybe i'm wrong but nexo nights certainly was not the the coolest thing on the block so i think going back to the og uh castle knights or maybe even like a you know space theme or something like that could all work. Flaming Brick says, why don't you like the brick shoe? I don't like the brick shoe because brick shoes are usually a little bit uncomfy. They're pretty hard. Real shoes obviously made of rubber and soft materials, a lot easier to stand in. Uh, yeah, brick shoes, not my thing. Scott Davis says, with the future of Toys R Us in doubt, what do you think this means for Lego? I think it's pretty bad for Lego. Like I think a lot of Lego sales come from Toys R Us. Like obviously Toys R Us is a huge toy retailer in the US and throughout the world. So obviously they make a lot of Lego sales. They have huge Lego selection and uh, it would be sad to see Toys R Us go. I think they are going to probably probably go under probably this week who knows it could have already happened but uh i'm gonna go pay my respects like just who good did i suppose and uh go up to my toys r us one day this week i don't know i i think uh lego will be fine i think it will hurt their sales for sure but they'll be fine they have plenty of money they're making plenty of money um but uh, they'll figure a way to you know keep pushing that product in another store or something like that i'm i'm curious if this will mean more product for walmart and target uh, at least in the u.s um that's where i predominantly would shop other than toys r us so i'm curious what's going to happen there p blocks production says do you like the lego han solo sets and i have done a video about this so if you guys didn't check my uh video out you can check it out but in short i really do like them my favorite is the tie fighter i also kind of like the millennium falcon but i'm slightly worried that the millennium falcon is going to have a really ugly cockpit piece so stay tuned for my reviews next month i believe it's exactly one month from today that the han solo sets come out april 13th Charlie Schaefer says, did you like your old MNR Productions 34 intro? So a lot of you guys are new to the channel. You might not know what my old MNR Productions 34 intro was. And assuming he's talking about the one I'm thinking of, we're going to play it right now. So as you can tell, that was a little bit over the top. That was back when, you know, everyone kind of had an intro like that, I feel like. So um, I don't really do an intro anymore, per se. I don't even really have an intro card that I use. I just kind of start the video. And maybe I should. Let me know if I should have an intro. But um, that was a little bit of a long intro. So I did do away with that like four or five years ago now. But uh, it's kind of cool to look back at it. Blap Blap Griffin says, Hi, I'm an R. Just wanted to ask, what Lego set do you not own but want to? I suppose the UCS Millennium Falcon is back on my list because I don't own it anymore after I sold it, after I did the drop test, but I am going to be buying that one again, so that's at the top of my list for sure. Another one that I don't own but want to, UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. A lot of the UCS sets would be on that list, but uh, definitely UCS Millennium Falcon number one, UCS Imperial Star Destroyer probably two. Jack Danaker says, are you going to make a minifig wall? I'm actually thinking about it. I have that black Lego tape that I bought probably like two months ago now, but I do have that tape. It works really, really well. And I have this very nice area between my two closets here that I think I could make a really nice minifig wall on. I think it would work really, really well if I put a minifig wall there. So I'm definitely thinking about it. It's possibly going to happen. If I do it, I might do a video series. I believe Brickitect is also doing a video series of his minifig wall. So it would be an interesting concept to do. Um, it probably would only take like one or two videos, honestly. Maybe I could just do it. I think just doing it all in one video would make the most sense instead of like a serious thing. I think I think I just do it all in one video, set it all up and set all the minifigs fix there and that could be pretty cool death trooper number three says if you could make any lego star wars set could be an old set one never made etc what would you want it to be so 
obviously a 501st trooper slash galactic marine battle pack is on there but another one that we mentioned earlier in this video that gave me a good idea is that clone commando set like a set with all four clone commandos would be absolutely awesome so those are two sets that i would love to see lego come out with as like one-off type things Jack Connor says, do you think the Lego Jabba's Palace is underrated? I definitely do. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that set as one of the great sets, and I believe it is. There, I was actually thinking the other day, and there's some other sets that are also underrated, namely the 2015 Imperial Shuttle, you can see right there, as well as kind of Dr. Krennic's shuttle off to its left, but uh, I, I think those two sets are pretty underrated, and I'm actually going to do a top 10 underrated Lego Star Wars sets video in the future. Zaki Muhammad says, hey Ryan, I wanted to ask which is better, Lego Pick a Brick or Bricklink? So I think as far as getting the most parts, the best bang for your buck, you'll want to go with Bricklink. As far as I can tell, Pick a Brick is usually a little bit more uh, high priced. And the reasoning for this is Lego isn't really competing with anyone. They just kind of set their price and that's what you have to pay. With Bricklink, you have many, many stores competing with one another to get your sale. So you basically have supply and demand with Bricklink as opposed to Lego who just kind of sets their price and that's what you pay. So Bricklink is most of the time, like 99% of the time going to be cheaper. So definitely do your research, compare between the two, but I would say Bricklink is where you're going to be better off and you're basically getting the same product brand new. Most sellers are pretty reputable, so nothing to worry about there. Definitely would recommend Bricklink. Give it a try if you haven't. Jawa says, do you ever buy your girlfriend Lego sets? Yes, I do. I actually, she has a nice little collection over at her house, which I'll show you now. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little collection she's built up as I bought her different stuff for different holidays and such. So her biggest set obviously being the Volkswagen Beetle that I just got her like a month ago. So pretty neat little collection. And now it's time for a little constructive criticism from Munchell360. He says, could you please stop answering questions you've been asked at least 40 times? Favorite Star Wars sets, favorite UCS sets, etc. It's sort of getting hard to keep watching them when I can literally answer the questions before the questions is finished being read. So I definitely agree with what you have to say. I, I agree that like, Yes, I do repeat some questions and it does get a little bit old. It's you from my perspective, sometimes I honestly forget that I've answered a question. I'll be like, have I answered that one? Maybe, maybe not. And some questions just get asked so much that I feel like sometimes I have to repeat them just so like maybe it'll stop people from asking them. So I don't know if you ever like read through the comments on the Ask Gummer Productions, but I do get a lot of repeat questions from previous videos. Obviously, some of you guys maybe haven't watched every video and that's perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, I try not to answer all the same questions, Munchell, but uh, unfortunately, sometimes it just happens. I'm sorry. I know I did it earlier in this video and I think I, I did a little name drop there for you, but uh, yeah, I'll try to try to answer the same questions a little bit less frequently if I can in the future. And with that, I thank you all for watching Ask Gummer Productions episode number 29. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so it's more of my future Lego videos. And if you guys have a question for me on next week's Ask Gummer Productions, let me know in the comments section below. And also read that pinned comment. I have a question for you. Guys, congratulations to our winner of the Lego Technic Mac Anthem truck. Go ahead and contact me via email and I will get that sent out to you in the coming days. So thank you all for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Check out one of these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Peace out. Bye.